Hi, welcome back to Small Talk Queens, episode 48. I'm Megan. I'm Kelly. I looked it up this time, so I knew what the fuck episode we were on before. 48. Yeah. 48. We're, we have our festive Halloween stuff on. This is going back. This is like neon orange. I'm not... I'm I not, like your orange. It's you really old. You got it's red. It's really old. This is... It looked really cute. You'll have to give me a headband. But, um, oh, yeah, headband. I'm wearing... I just got my pumpkins on. It matches. I don't have it in me for this. Although, where the pumpkin one is cute. No well, one's worn that one yet. I know. Well, yeah. That's festive. Maybe I'll put one on later. Anyway. What does the legs look like? So, episode 48. I got my new goth lipstick. Do you like it? Yeah. Is it brown? Well, yeah. So, I would... I went down the rabbit hole. You know, I love Look good, at this. I, it's festive. I love a good Chanel lipstick. Look. Brown's I'm coming. Brown's I'm not coming buying my back jeans in. from Old Navy, but fuck, I'm buying, I'm buying <gasps> a lipstick. You know what Chanel. I saw on Old Navy? What? Sequined pants. I stole them and I almost bought them, but I bought a dress instead. And they have a skirt. These I don't yes. like these legs. God. Okay. Well, just there you go. There you go. If, if you can't see the whole thing because it's it's up. A, there you go. You know, top well, hat. Yeah. Can you see it? I'll, anyway, so I'll have to sit like this. The lipstick. It is. It's sort of brown. It looked more purpley online. It always does. Cause I this, like it though. But the I, computer so I, I got, skews. I got a few, a few colors. The computer skews things. It you does. Can wear it to so, the side. anyway, so I've got some new lipstick. It, it's all good. It's all good. So, uh, I want. Oh, I want to give a shout out. So I forgot to tell you this. So, I don't think I know who this person is. It's Gabriella Ben Como six two two seven. I don't know. At if, if I know you, but I don't know your handle on YouTube. I apologize. But she, I'm assuming she, he said something about this is so comforting. I aspire to, um, I aspire to be you too in the future. Hey, that's great. Thank is it, you. Is it the rage? Is it the swears? Is it, it the bickering? Like it, I wonder, like what part of it? It is wouldn't so take. Comforting. Mu- it wouldn't take much to to be like us. It is not. I mean, you gotta have a little rage, some, some swears. A lot uh, of rage, a lot of swears. A lot of rage, a lot of swears. I I've had some rage this week. I mean, I have had some fucking. I've rage had some this rage. Week. I've had been, some rage, and I try not to. You know, to keep the rage out of my heart. Uh, I had rage just like a half an hour ago. I had to fucking have a rage. So, so well, the you dryer, were in a bad mood when I got here. The, the dryer shit the bed, right? Shit it. A few weeks ago. Dryer shit the bed. Shit it. So yesterday, we had the, the appliance company come out and take a look at it. And he said, great dryer. He said, you don't, they don't make them like that anymore. Good news. We have a tune-up kit for it. We'll fix it right up. But in the meantime, you need to clean the vent. It's not It's not working because the vent needs to be cleaned. You need to get a vacuum cleaner. Gave us the number of, like the vent, like the outside of it. Gave us the number to the vent cleaning company, who we call. Get this guy. I'll probably piss somebody off. He's a little on the spectrum, I think, this guy. I mean, he went he went into full detail. I'm like, look, I just need to know, can you come clean the vent? I, I don't need to know. He gave you the dissertation. He gave, I was like, I, 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 please stop. Like, I, I didn't say that, but in my mind yesterday. Okay, great. Can you come out? So he's saying, well, first of all, it can't be PVC pipe. It's PVC piping. It's, it's against code. It's supposed to be four inches, not three inches. Blah, blah, blah. I said, look, I don't know if it's PVC. That's what the guy, the appliance guy, said. What do I know? It's she has Joe. Just to go outside, take a picture of the vent, go downstairs, take a picture of the fucking piping. He comes back to tell us, okay, well if it's three inches, it's gonna need to be four inches. You're gonna have to drill drill through the found look, fucker. I said, if that's what needs to be done, you're gonna come clean the dryer. We're gonna pay you the hundred and ninety five dollars to clean the dryer vent, and we're done. We're not we're not doing that right now. Okay, he said. Understood. Wait, has it clogged before? Has it not dried? Like, I, it's maybe not we really had, a problem. We had, like, the whole vent system clean Maybe it's before. not a problem. And he's just, because but, he's so... So, his, so he tells me yesterday, we're going to be out tomorrow. Does that work? Great. Yes. Thank you. The guy yesterday, he left it all unattached. And you can still run it. It'll just blow some humidity and a, little, and a little dust into your basement. The fuck? I'm not running the dryer if it's not attached to the fucking <laughs> vent. I'm like, I just oh, looked at him, right? I'm my just like, God. What? So, was he some kind of special? Tree, look how pretty that tree is, by the way. It is very pretty. I'll take oh, a picture got, oh, of it. Oh, we got, I got, we got an update on the tree. Yeah, oh, look. Tree. It was traumatic, a lot of sunshine traumatic, coming in. I, I can't. I can't. A lot listen. of sunshine I coming in. I pull the fucking curtains in the living room yesterday. So, okay. So, oh, my God. So, I tell him, we're not drilling a hole right now. I just I just want the dryer hooked up so we can use the fucking dryer. Hook it up. Clean it out. Hook it up. Okay. He says to me, we'll be there tomorrow between 11 and 2. But tonight I'm going to go through all my job listings and figure out the time frame and I'll contact you with a more specified time. Thank you. Whatever your name is. Yes, thank you. Well, I get up this morning. There's no message. Oh, I went to bed at 8. I went to bed at 8.30 last night. Look, I've been getting a lot of sleep. So there's no message from him with, with an updated time slot. So here I am, fresh out of the fucking shower. 
knock on the door. Joe's on a conference call. I'm like yelling down in my underwear. Joe, the, the, the dryer guys are here. He's like, I see that. <laughs> Let's the dryer guys in. They come, they, they run some kind of giant cord thing. They're hooking up their, they hook up their own. Um, Suction? The, the last time we had the vents clean, they, they, they brought their own thing and hooked it up like, to their own generator so they don't use like your home energy or something, which, hey, I appreciate that. Use your own electricity. Great. Hooks it up, right? Joe interrupts his conference call. Then the guy, then Was he has to loud? go open the, loud? the gate. Well, they didn't get, they didn't clean it out. Let me finish. They didn't clean it out. The fucking thing is still not. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So he comes back to tell me, you, you need a, you need a four inch hole. That's only a three inch hole. In the PVC piping, it, you have to have, I got the whole fucking dissertation from son Kyle today that I got from his father yesterday. I said, yeah, we, we don't want, we're not going to drill the bigger hole. We just want it hooked back up. It, it, oh, no, we didn't hook it up. Haven't I mean, you always you, had a dryer there? You've never yes. needed a four inch. I said, did, did you did you clean it out though? Can I, can I use it? No. Why did you not do the fucking service that I scheduled to have? So I just looked at him and he's like, well, hubby sounded like he was on board with this. I said, I assure hubby? you. Hubby. I said, I assure did you. Did hubby? He did. I said, I assure you, hubby was not listening to words you said. Hubby was focused on the conference call that he was missing out on while you were talking to him about this. And it's a sign wasn't station. listening. And, 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 and don't tell me that hubby's okay with it. A little fucker. See the ghost. Uh, clean the fucking vent and hook <gasps> it the back up. Hook it the back up. Hook it the fuck back up <laughs> so I can use it. No. He said, well, I didn't want to, I didn't want to charge you for that and do all that just to have to come, come back and look. God damn it. So exactly what I said to the guy yesterday that we were not going to do, wow. now we're fucking doing. So he gives, wow. me the name, he gives me the name and number of a coring company because they have to drill through the foundation to make the hole bigger. Why don't you call another person? Wait. So he tells me, this is who the, the appliance people recommend. I would call a different so wait, person. So he gives me the name and number of a company and says, and then says, there's another company out of Philadelphia. We get really bad reviews about them, blah, blah, blah. Goes on for 10 minutes about the company who we're not going to use to do the fucking... Why the fuck are we talking? How about you tell me about the company whose name you did give me the number for? And I'll call them. So he leaves. <laughs> so I come to that conference call, and I'm like, fucking irate. I'm like, fucking irate. <laughs> Is we there still steam, can't, steam coming out of here? We still can't use the goddamn dryer. So I said, I went through this with the guy on the phone yesterday. Well, at least it's warm outside. I said, I, I'm not hanging the laundry out to dry. It doesn't, it doesn't help me. It doesn't help me. So so I called. So I call the coring company. Get the guy on the phone. Forget his name. Don't I'll drill a hole in the wall for you. So he's like, so you need an, uh, a new four-inch hole drill. No, fuck, I need a new four-inch <laughs> hole drill. I was like, wait, but don't you just take the existing hole? We have a three-inch hole. We need a four-and-a-quarter-inch hole. Don't you just make the existing hole an inch and a quarter bigger? What do we do with the other hole? We have a fucking raccoon <laughs> coming through it. Like, what the fuck? What, 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 what? Uh, uh, and he's asking me questions, and I'm, like, looking at Joe, like... I don't drill holes for a fucking living. I don't fucking know. Isn't this your job? How the fuck am I supposed to know? Hey, have Sean over. Sean takes a hole and makes it bigger I with can't. the drill. Well, that's what I thought. We don't own happen. a we don't own a drill anymore. So finally, I'm like, here's what I know, Kevin, Mark, whatever your name is, Mark, Kevin. Here's what I know. We have a three inch hole. We need a four and a quarter inch hole. I'm thinking that you just make the existing hole bigger, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm reading to you. This is what the paper says. Have a three inch hole, need a four quarter inch hole. Okay, I'm gonna have to come out and take a look. You don't fucking say. You don't say. So he, I'm like, how soon can you do this? I want to use the dryer. I want to use the dryer. Can you use the other one? I can use the other one, She's but a teeny, it's teeny, tiny small one. loads. Upstairs. And I just, right? And the guy that was here earlier talking about how it's not cost efficient because the, the, the hole is a, it's only three inches, it should be four. I don't fucking care. Who, why is it your business? <laughs> if I want to fucking run our energy bill up to the fucking roof, <coughs> why do you care? Who could that? Why does it matter how big your hole is? Right? <laughs> how, why does it matter how big my hole is? You don't worry about my hole. You let me worry about my hole. <laughs> let me worry about my fucking hole. It's my I hole. I should have. I you should have said, said that. I should have been quicker. I should have been fucking quicker. So, it's always the afterthoughts. So I always have them come to me Who the fuck this guy is, Mark, Kevin, whoever, is coming this afternoon to take a oh, look. You should say, my hole is fine. To take a look at it <laughs> and to assess what needs to be done. So so it was going to be $195 flat rate to, uh, clean, to clean the dryer. 
is now going to be between three hundred and five hundred to have the hole made bigger, and then another three to five hundred dollars for the new galvanized steel piping because PVC. I've learned about this twice now, folks. Check your fucking dryer vents. If it's PVC, it has a high melt rate. Catch your house on fire faster. If the lint catches fire in the galvanized steel, it'll burn out before it catches the house on fire. Wait a fire. minute, backtrack. The Who PVC put the original PVC piping in. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. But somebody. You should I don't call know. them. I, but but it's been there for a minute. This is, so this is the best part too. So the guy that was here yesterday, right, tells us that our dryer is like a like a like a fucking like great thing. It's it's a Maytag. It's old, like 2011, maybe 2010. They aren't but built to last that long not, anymore. Right? He said, "You have a great dryer. It just needs a little tune up. We have a tune up kit. I'm gonna call you tomorrow with a quote." That fucker calls me this morning. Oh, we can't get parts for your dryer. It's so old. We can't get parts for it. Oh, did you remind okay. him what he said yesterday about how? No. And by the way, so I need a credit card. That'll be $140. The fuck for? For him to come out yesterday and tell us that the fucking vet needed to be clean. The fuck? The fuck? I can't. I can't. And I need a bigger hole. Mm, yeah. He said, did, did you get the vent company? They came. Yes. I can't. I can't. I just can't. <laughs> so anyway, so here we are. Here we are. <laughs> the, dry, the dryer, <laughs> the dryer is great. He's like, it has, if it, a car has a hundred thousand miles on it, you just need to get the vent clean. It'll be fine. Okay. okay. Why don't you just call somebody else? Well, because it's the same. If it's not of the code, it's not the code. Well, who put it in initially? Uh, who? The you fuck should knows? call them back and say, Kelly, this is it was like a decade, more than a decade ago. They're not going to come back and oh, okay, well, let's fix this. Well, it hasn't no. burnt down yet. Uh, yeah, right, Christ. Why would you say such a thing? I don't know. Anyway, so. I've had some rage too. I had a good phone call too. With who? Um, the bug people are oh. our um, exterminator. Week. Go for it. Yeah, our exterminator. Tell there us there, there was a movie. lot of rage. So um, going around. Yeah. So <laughs> I hope it's not catching. We had a dead mouse in our house. I know that sounds really skeevy. We have a clean house. It's just we have like it's in a the wall. We have a forest in the back of our house. The neighbor behind us used to have three lovely cats that used to piss me off because they used to like hang out Maybe and nap in my lawn. Cat to like Wait, hang out in the back. We, we had one. The three cats would come down off the hill from the neighbor's backyard. Three. They all looked like they were black. Don't with get little a kitten because the fox might get it. They were li well. They were little. They were and they had white patches. They were black with white. And I'm not a cat huh. person. Don't at me. But I'm not a cat don't person. Don't at me. But they're cute. Cats terrify me. I don't like cats. I'm deathly allergic. And they scare the shit out of me. And again, no offense if you're a cat person, but they scare me. They scare me from 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 pet cemetery i read the book in high school and junior high to be exact and then i saw the movie i can't do cats i used to love cats because our neighbors live on a farm they had cats they love every the farm cats. has a cat every restaurant now has a cat. i walk into a fucking friend's house with a cat i'm like <gasps> oh, my <God. laughs> oh my god yeah don't do that anyway in my eyes like bleed like right. water and i can't patrick, breathe, and I so sneeze. this is a side note i'm never i never get to my story so a side note so. about cat allergies Patrick is deathly allergic. We're all allergic. And he, when he was like, but I didn't know that he was allergic, allergic to cats. No. So how are you not allergic to cats? I don't the rest know. Of us are? I'm not. Look, I'm not. I mean, it's bad. Like, I couldn't go to sleepovers, like at Rosanna's yeah. house and stuff. Well, I could not go to sleepovers at friends' houses who had cats. Patrick, I had to leave in the middle of the night. Patrick went to a friend's house to play when he was really little. And um, I picked him up, you know, at the end of the play date. And he got in, and his eyes looked like he had been on a bender. They were like bright red. <laughs> I'm like, what? And they were small a bad allergy. little bit. I'm like, what is going on? And they had a long haired cat. So the long hair, mm. it's worse. Like the long hair. Right. I don't know why. It just is. So we. What's worse in houses that have carpeting too, because the dander gets stuck in the carpeting. Right. Hardwood floors, it's not as bad because you can like. Yeah, get rid of it. I don't know. I mean, this but, house was clean. It's just it's the, not even about it's just clean. The cat. It's just yeah, the dander like literally like sticks to the carpeting, right? And, like the furniture and stuff. Right. I think it was a furniture because they have hardwood. But at any rate, um, if we solved that problem. He just if he goes someplace that has a cat and he wants to hang out there or whatever, he just takes like well, an Allegra. I had to take an Allegra, but see, when I was younger, they didn't have Allegra. They had like Sudafed and Benadryl, and they would take Benadryl, but that'd be my friend's house, like comatose, <laughs> in the fuck right in the chair, and forget <laughs> it. Like in college, like, I. My, like I, I worked with a lot of friends um, that had cats, so like I go to their house and like we're, I'm there drinking and having Benadryl. I'm like fast asleep, like like uh, like drink pouring out. Like I can't. I mean, because it would just knock me out. Cats in college tend to be feral cats. Like I, everybody I knew that had a cat was in a fraternity because you couldn't have them in the dorms. Um, well, my boss or in her apartment. home had cats. So everybody the, had cats. The fraternity. Well, the fraternity probably cats, had. Cindy had cats. Teresa had cats. Everybody had cats. The fraternity probably had mice galore, and the oh, dogs God. don't like the mice. They don't even care. It's the cats no. that get them. So and I haven't. So anyhow, so um, 
we have mice and the neighborhood cats used to come around and for the past two years they haven't been there on and i don't know why because they were pretty cats and our neighbors have not moved um but they used to get them you could see them stalking them it was really fun to watch them it was like national geographic i love what, looking out my window to see what nature is doing so they stalk it sit there oh they would get on the deck and put all fours in like you see lions do oh, you know sick. get all their feet together close so they could pounce on it and get it oh that's a this is fun. I like the bat. So it's like anyhow, a crown, like a bat crown. Back to the mouse. So this is not our first rodeo with the mouse. So we have a mouse. They dye the walls in your house all the time. It smells. It is stank. Um, and we can't find it. And we have moved everything. In the, well, John moved everything in the basement, and it's clean. So, did, but we moved out everything away from the walls to find that fucker. And it smelled, and it was in the Just walls. Put this back a little bit, but we can get our full our full head. And in. um, nope. So, and I have a sensitive sniffer. Mm. John has, and he finally admits to me three years later, he lost his sense of smell after he got COVID. I just never got it back? No. He's like, I can't really That's smell That's not true, because you were making the macaroni and cheese one day, he walked in and asked what smelled like ass. But he, but he said he's lost his sense of smell, so maybe it, maybe it's like more subtle smells. I, maybe he just I couldn't smell the dead mouse. Right, but therefore... that's like a really strong. So at any rate, um, have a dead mouse, can't find it. Um, I go in to the grocery store and buy, I don't want to mask the odor, I want to absorb, absorb the, odor. the odor. There's a different friend, there's a difference friends, and if you don't know, Fucker. you want to always absorb a bad smell. You don't want to mask it with Febreze or room freshener. So I go get these. I like to mask it? No, because you don't get rid of it. So I got these like round disc things. They're sold at the grocery store. They smell like linen or citrus or whatever. They absorb the smell. Yeah, they like absorb the gel it. inside. Yeah, it's well, like my a hard threw gel. Up in the bedroom this summer, uh, I put one in there to absorb the smell. Yeah, it says odor absorber, but that wasn't doing the trick. And I bought three of them and placed. You just have them. to give it a few days. The mouse no, rots up and dies in just a couple uh, of days and um, won't stink anymore. I'm not done Ask with me the how story. I know. Not done. Is that fan moving? No, because I'm cold. I didn't want it blowing on me. Well, you're gonna have to. Well, you're gonna have to get me get the remote. Here it is. Oh, so God. anyhow, now I'm a so then I didn't like that was on Friday. I didn't like that 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 wasn't quickly absorbing. The three of them weren't absorbing the odor fast enough, and I almost googled but didn't because I just forgot how to get rid of the smell of a dead mouse. Like how, no, no, not how, but how long does a dead how long just does a, a decaying no mouse a week. last? No more than a week. I I can't even. So stinks to high heaven because I've got a sensitive sniffer. All I can smell, it's like in my nose, stuck in my nose. I'm in the shower. That's all I can smell, and it's really not that bad. It's just stuck. Mm. So I then after I get these discs, I, know, I couldn't smell it, and they weren't working quick enough. I then went because um, several years ago our um, pest control person, when we had another dead mouse, was like, "You should buy these char their bags full we of like those. charcoal well or whatever." We have them, and it's an odor eater. So I bought two of those lickety split off of Amazon. Hung one, you know, in the basement. Hung one How on the banister. How long did they last? For? We just put the change in. It might have been um, hanging there a couple years. A couple, a couple months, years. and then they say, "Oh, to, it's been there a couple years." Yeah, so is mine. But they say to reactivate it, you just need to put the whole pouch thing in water. No, outside oh. in the sun for like an hour. Oh. That sun reactivates it. Don't oh. know how. Okay. I'll but at any rate, okay. so I'm getting to my story of my rage, other oh, than We're just with the there. mouse. Okay. Yeah, we got right, side sorry. notes. That's a, like ten minutes on the dead mouse. That's because we had dead, we had side discussions always. So, at any rate, um, it's not doing it. So, I have to call the pest control people. To come find the dead mouse? Yeah. I'm like, they need to come do something. Um, plus, the baits that we have need to be, like, they haven't been checked in six months because when they were at our house last, the exterminator, they, we, it was August and we were on vacation. So, they only treated the outside for, like, mm -hmm. freaking spiders. So, at any rate, it's time. So, I call and it's like a 1-800 number because I look up Viking but I'm like it's, I mean, oh. we used to use somebody else who was local but I'm like now my bill says so I call this number Viking bought, or bought we use the same people they bought them. so I get a call center I get a call center in a different country which is not the problem the problem is is it that is. he can't understand me and I'm having trouble understanding him so I mean truly I mean it's not that difficult I have a mouse smell and I need them to come back out um, and he was giving me this like line of shit. I think there was a script. Read really the script. It's maddening. Maddening. You call the local number and it takes you to like the one eight hundred, like yeah. whatever, like so, yeah, call center. So I'm pissed. Across the I'm pissed. So I say to him, "Where are you?" He doesn't answer me. I said, "Where are you?" He doesn't answer me. I said, "Are you in X Y Z town, which is right near our house, which is where our old company used to be?" He doesn't answer me. I said, "Tell me this. Are you in Pennsylvania?" 
and he's not answering. And I say, okay, so I know that you're not anywhere here on this continent. So I want to talk to your manager. I want to talk to a manager of the local office here. Because as we're on the phone, I'm Googling and Master's mm -hmm. Touch by the interwebs still has like a website and stuff. So I'm like, I want to talk to the local manager. Um, okay, well, I can't call them. I have to take an email and I'll email them Maddening. your concerns. Maddening. Fuck. So... Oh. I'm like, fine. So I'm like, you tell them I Brown's. want the manager to call me about this. Hang up the phone. Half an hour later, Steve calls. Steve, 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 Steve. Steve, Steve, Steve Steve's man. man. That's from a local radio station. So Steve calls. Dear old Steve got blasted. I'm like, Steve. Poor Steve was not prepared for that. Right. I'm like, Steve goes, is this Mrs. Walker? I have a message that you have a pest problem and you need us to um, come fix it. I said, I got a, mouse, a dead mouse in my dead house mouse. and it smells and the, baits, the bait traps need to be filled, I think. Um, but let's first talk about the call center when I'm trying to get you. Mm. I said, so then I did a little more research, Steve, and I didn't want Steve. the 1-800 number. I dig a little deeper on the interwebs and I locate because I didn't have it before, the um, Old Master's Touch phone number. So I dial that area code, local area code number, and doesn't it fucking send me back to where I was just talking to? And I, oh, I didn't say quite that to him. I said, so I call the 610 number, and it reroutes me to, again, a different continent. So I just hang up the phone when the person answers. And I said, so you're calling me from the first call. And I said, I just want to know why I can't have... And like your local office number here in Exton. This is the best answer ever. He's like, well, Viking bought us out. We've merged with Viking and we don't have a general office number for you to call. That's insanity. Um, and I look at my phone and the phone number is like some random um, like number. Like when I go to call it back, it's like dead. It doesn't, I, so I don't know what kind of number that is. But when I call him back to see if it works, it's, it's like maybe his personal yeah, cell phone, phone and he number. doesn't. Right. Every time I call them, I get uh, it I, I dial the local number, but it reroutes me to India, to I, be specific. I'm like, so... The call center is in India. So I wanted to talk to a manager of the local office for a very specific reason, and I wasn't able to do that. So the rage started to build. Then I get Steve on the phone. Steve explains what's going on. They have no local number. I'm like, that's ludicrous. Not to get Steve in any trouble, but he's like, oh, we understand. He's like, there are four of us that used to work with Master's Touch that are now managers here for them, and in the local office. And we are as frustrated as you. Bullshit, Steve. I said... Did you just call India for a half hour? I said... Well, I should say he's like, we get that. this complaint a lot. I'm like, well, I can certainly like, get a phone why. number. I'm like, so are we going to have somebody come out and check for my dead mouse? Like, I don't really need them to find it. I just, at this point, need them to give me some more odor eaters and to they treat... They gave you the odor eaters? They did once, yeah. So I wanted <laughs> I more. I don't get odor eaters. You have, you have to, ask, you have odor to ask for them. If they can't find the mice, oh. they give you one. Because it's in the wall. I'm not drilling a hole in the wall. So long story short, they sent somebody out. Um, but I said, so in the future, Steve, if I want to talk to you, how do I get hold of you? You don't. And there was a pause. And he goes, well, I'm going to give you the office email. Unbelievable. And it's not even like his email. It's not like Steve at Viking. It's like something, something, customer service yeah. at yeah. Viking. I'm like, but but will this get to you, or is this going to no. be rerouted to, to, to a different continent? Rerouted. He goes, no, no, it'll actually come to one of us in the office, so one of the four of us here will call you and mm. just tell us your concern and your phone number, and we will call you based on that email. Well, here's my problem. So I'm done with the oh, story, sorry. but I am it's like it's ludicrous that you don't have I, – I almost Remember. said to him, but because I was full of rage, and Steve was being nice because he was absorbing my rage – for a few minutes. For a few minutes. I was, and I did tell him it wasn't him, because that always makes. But it I'm better. gonna take it out on you anyway. Fucker. Yeah, so <laughs> you gotta get it anyway. I learned that trick from Dad. Like, not that it's a trick, but Dad always apologizes. I'm gonna be an asshole, but I'm gonna apologize for it. <laughs> not that yeah. Dad's an asshole because he's not. But like, if he had to have a frank discussion and it wasn't that person's fault, he's Listen, like, Fred. I understand. Well, he'd say that, but he's like, I understand it's not your fault, but. but. So. Um, the butt makes it all the better. Yeah. So, uh, what were we talking? I just totally brained the rage on them. They yeah. apologize. He absorbed the rage, but they. So when I call them, because now what they do, they used to call or have me call. We would call. We would, on the phone schedule an appointment. Yeah, it was a small right. little so exterminating they, they, office. They come monthly. They come monthly. We have the we have the 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 whatever it is. They come quarterly. They come quarterly. I was gonna say if you have them come no. monthly, you need they, Jesus. They come <laughs> quarterly. We have the quarterly plan where they come quarterly and they check the mouse bait stations inside the house, outside the house, and they spray for spiders. 
And then if they need, if the bait stations have been active, they'll come back in like two weeks and check on them. So now though, the day before they come, I get, so at like, at like yeah. five o'clock, like so five o'clock last Thursday, five o'clock last Thursday, I get a text message, we'll be out tomorrow. Not even a fucking window of time. So I'm like, well, I guess we'll just be home tomorrow waiting for the pest control. And the problem is if they come, well, we're not here, the gates to the backyard are locked, so they can't spray out back. They can't check the bait stations out back. And obviously, if we're not here, they can't come to the basement and check the bait stations. Yeah. So guy comes. is a different fucking guy every time. And then I have to have the conversation with him when he shows up about, when you check the bait stations in the basement, can you please not dump them all over the fucking floor? Yeah, it's like mouse poop. And then there's mouse poop all over. And then I have real fucking rage. <laughs> and But then I also am not going to go near it because it's like disease. Just like, let me just ignore that was over there in the corner. Did the guy have big the big holes in his ears? He like, did. Hmm. That's, who came nice. to, that's who came to my house. He was lovely. He was I really lovely. liked him. Well, he was, he was lovely until nice. it pissed me off. So he's like, I'm going to spray for spiders outside. I said, okay, great. I also, I'd like you to come inside our, our screened-in porch over here. It's, I call it screened-in. It is closed, our enclosed closed. porch and spray. Uh, I'll spray outside that I'll take care of it. Look fucked hard. That's not what I... Well, because they have to you, walk. They walk through it and kill But them. I wanted him to do... He, they normally come into the porch and do in the perimeter because they. this is not like seal-proof. It's right. not sealed right. off. Did you? Did he come inside? No! He didn't say, I'll just do it outside. And I just looked at him. <laughs> and I just... And I, I, I didn't have it in me to like... Okay, I should have argued. I just, it's probably just as well, probably enough rage. But I just, I thought, okay, fine. You, whatever you do, else, oh, let me find a fucking spider in this porch, though, fuckers, and I'm gonna call back. I mean, it is that time of the year. I've seen a couple, I, I've seen more in my house now because it's like, right, getting... but I'd like them, normally they just, no problem. They come in and as part of the service, they do the porch. No, no, I know. I don't know what his adversity yeah, was. Why? Well, so I adversity. I, I don't know. I mean, I realize that this is a first world problem, but let me tell you, I am pissed when I get a call center. If I wanted a fucking oh, call yeah. center, I would have gone with a big, big box name to begin with. Fuckers. Fuck. Well, it was taken over. Look. So okay. So speak. speak and I need a mouse. Rage. And if it, I mean, I, I, a cat. I a mouse. If it weren't no, in, if it weren't inhumane, I would go rescue one and just leave the cat outside. <laughs> I mean, I would feed She'd it. Never be allowed. I would to feed it, but I, I want the cat to be an outdoor cat. To kill the mice, it's which amazing. is what If you they have an do. outdoor dog, you get in trouble because that's not okay anymore. Well, I have... cannot have an outdoor cat. I could make a cat. Door. You can have an outdoor cat, but you can't have an outdoor dog. Sorry, look, I'm all over the place. Well, three out of four people in my house are deathly allergic to cats. Oh, yeah, so... I, would never, I would never come into your house again. So, never. well, so then allergic. that's four. So, but the other thing about the um, cats is somebody told me that cats were domesticated like 10 million years after dogs were domesticated. So the point of that is cats are still evolving a little bit and they have a little bit more of the actual like wild in them, like the lion mm -hmm. and the tiger and wherever else they have come down from. The feline, Cheetah. okay. The yeah, feline. the feline, yeah. But no, so they were domesticated after the dog. Fascinating. I just found that out. Found that out. Oh, there you go, there's your animal trivia for the day. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, okay. So while we're talking about rage, I, I got right, right. So I get a bill the other day oh, yeah. saying that I owe $300 for my surgery that I had in the fall. I already paid $300 for my copay. I owe another $300. I say my copay was, oops, it was 600 By the way, you owe 300 What the fuck? So I get online. And I'm like, oh, yeah, look, it says, it says. So I call. The woman says to me, oh, no, 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 that, this is wrong. You, you already paid $300. You do not, your copay is not $600. You don't owe this. Okay, good thing I didn't fucking pay it. I got another bill yesterday. I was like, look, look, someone get on the right page with this. I got another bill saying it's outstanding. First of all, how is it outstanding? It's the first I fucking heard of this. I don't have it in me today to call back. I, just, I don't have it in me. I can't do it. I I, have, I, can, I feel bad for whoever I get on the phone because like, I'll just let, I'll just, I, I can't. Um, I figure I'll wait and see if I get another bill next week. I'll call back then. It's a simple request. It's just a simple request. Coming from a person who can't work right now because I'm home with my children, child, um, people just need to do their fucking jobs. Well, she said it was an over. She said why me, isn't quote, Philly is an doing oversight. their job? It was it's an, an oversight. It's an oversight. Well, Twice. Either, well, either the copay is six hundred or the copay is three hundred. Which is it? I'll just call the fucking insurance company and find out what they say. Oh, have fun with that. Talk about rage. Well, You're gonna have I know, some rage, and that's why I just. Let's let, it, let it be outstanding. First of all, how is it outstanding when I just got the I just got the bill, and so yeah. So when she told me, don't worry about it. Do absolutely do not pay that. Okay. And then I got a, another bill. Uh, I can't. And then, okay, so the so good news and then bad news this week. Wait, so, I have to tell you something. Oh. I know this because my husband's my husband is um 
a pub in public audit. So the healthcare companies, meaning insurance and or hospitals, doctors' offices, anything under that umbrella, only recoup, only get paid back. Like maybe I think it's like twenty percent. Yes, I said twenty. It's very low. It is less than half. They get back less than half of what they're sending out for bills. Like because people don't pay them? Yeah, people don't pay them. Oh. My surgery, because then they had a breakdown of it, was $134,000. Yeah. I was like, holy shit. I'm bitching because they, they want me to try to pay another three. That's why that doctor's well, driving a Porsche. He probably is. I didn't ask, but I'm sure he is. Anyway, okay. So, what day of the week? So, Monday morning. Monday morning, I'm in bed, right? It's 7.45 in the morning, and there's somebody at the fucking door. What the fuck? Right? For Tuesday morning. Whatever day it was. Sunday this week. Tuesday. So I get up. I'm like, what? why is there somebody at the door at 7.45 in the morning? So I you know, get up, throw on some clothes, come downstairs. Joe, the tree across the street is finally coming down. So this fucking tree, it's a beautiful old oak. It was over 100 years old. Oh, my God. Gorgeous. I should take a picture of the stump for everybody. It's, it's like, like yeah, Joe was like, you could put a bistro table and chairs out on that. It is huge, right? <laughs> they cut it off flush with it the is, ground it right is, now. It is fucking It was huge. The tree was beautiful, what was left of it. But the fucker was dead. And they it was assessed several times by other tree companies. Arborists. Joe complained to the township and they sent somebody out to cut some dead out of it just so that so the neighbors couldn't see all the dead and then worry about it. But every fucking time the wind blew, fucking limbs would come out of this thing. Limbs. So like the whole neighborhood, like like everyone, I mean literally it was like outside, it was like across the street. If it came down, it would have smashed through our house. Like it would have just. Yeah. So when the wind would blow, like we'd move our cars. <laughs> So then, every time the wind will blow or there's a storm, there are limbs. Limbs. Not just some fucking twig. Limbs, like, in the street. Last summer, we heard a hell of a crash. I thought it was a car crash. I come looking. Well, a limb fell and landed the people whose tree the property is on. Yeah, the, the property of the tree is on. Their house. It fell and crashed onto their patio and smashed up their fucking wicker patio furniture. And it must have done something else because there was an ambulance and a couple of cops there. Like, Do they own the tree? Or does the township own the they tree? They own the tree. Okay. But, but, according to township code, when the tree crosses the street, as this one did, it then becomes a township problem. Only the, the part township, the, or the township didn't, but also if a tree falls on your property, you yeah. are responsible for the removal and the damage. Yeah. Not the people who own the tree, you're responsible. Right. If my tree falls on your house, you pay for yes. it, I don't. And so when Joe had emailed the township about it a few years ago, they don't email back because they don't want it. They don't want a record of it. They call. They call to tell us, oh, no, no, we're not going to take care of it. We'll send somebody out to look at it. Oh, the tree is fine. But the neighbors had people come look at their tree, and, and the guy that was at their tree said, look at all the dead in there. That's just a matter of time before that tree comes down. Okay, great. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> so so I felt bad because, I mean, it was a beautiful tree, and it gives us great shade. Like yeah. in the summer, and so now like I'm gonna put a curtain up. Like we have windows all right here. There's gonna have to be. It's blinding in the morning. Like no, it's not. It is in the in the living room. It's blinding. Well, it's like mom and dad's then. I hate it. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not here for the fucking sunshine, people. No. So I'm gonna put. I'm gonna have to put curtains up that I can just like open and close based on like. So there's this huge empty spot. Okay. So anyway, but so aside from the parts of it that were alive being beautiful and an old tree it, I mean it, like the limbs were coming down smashing in the road so like the people next door the little kids were like they were on us like can you call the township can you bitch like we've been trying to complain about it can you bitch about it too and Joe's like I've already done that you call you call yeah you call what why are we always going to have to call yeah so well you are on a they, first name basis they, with the township the township hates us so now they're not going to do anything we ask them to do I assure you of that I assure you nah you don't know because we had to go, we had to go after the township. We had to, we got hostile with the township in order to get hot because the fucking neighbors. Anyway, they don't want to, they don't want to, they don't want to support their own code system. Okay, fuckers. Okay. Anyway, so the tree came down. So all day. So we had a chainsaw from seven forty-five in the morning mm. until three thirty in the afternoon. What's the, what's the noise it makes? I'm <laughs> okay, I can't. It was so it all fucking day because the first like here I am with my coffee I'm watching out the window the guy's up in the cherry picker cutting off branches then the guy's in his harness and he's up there cutting down he fucking climbed logs it. he climbed it in he the harness he climb it they raised him up on the harness and then they so then there's a hell of a mess right so this is the other thing with the tree like we have leaves all over our yard they fill up our gutter 
We're worried that the limbs are going to come through the house with fucking acorns dinging off the Tahoe. It's like like a bullet through the fucking night. I mean, it's the loudest fucking thing. Not to mention the squirrels, right? The, the squirrels. squirrel activity. Oh, they're going to be so sad. Well, there was a squirrel casualty. There was a squirrel casualty. There was a dead squirrel in the middle of the road. In your driveway again? No. In the middle of the road, either when they, either it was on a branch and then when it got cut down, it fell to its death. Or was on the road when they dropped a fucking limb onto the road. It was not quick enough. Uh, but the squirrel, but they took, because Joe was like, they better take care of the dead squirrel. They're not leaving that in the street. And like, we're watching all day to see if the dead squirrel, yes, they cleaned up the dead squirrel. And then they Did also. Did they put it in the chopper and mulch her? Yeah, so that was, it, was, it wasn't, it wasn't, no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know that they put the limbs. So not only was it the chainsaw, it was a fucking wood chipper all day too. Like, I can't. The noises, the noises all day. Down comes the limb through the chi- the fucking yeah. wood chipper. The, not just the small limbs. The giant limbs they save probably go slice up and sell somewhere. Oh yeah, for and that they oak use tree some they kind will. of like thing to pick them up uh, oh, and yeah. like hoisted them into the bed. The, the, it's like a big into the bed of a truck. Yeah, yeah. it was all day. Got the truck running, the wood chipper, the chainsaw. I was like, make it fucking stop. My God. I had trees taken down this week too. We've a full full activity. Well, th- there was a squirrel running around looking for the tree. Then later, <laughs> Joe felt bad. It was like, like was he going back and forth? It was like <laughs> at the base, like looking around, probably. Like, what the fuck happened here? I mean, this hopefully. house might have been a well, right? I mean, I don't Aww. know squirrels. Do they live in the tree? They live yeah, they in the have ground. Squir- no, they have squirrel nests. You can see oh, them that's sometimes. Oh, that's probably what happened. It's probably in the fucking nest. At I don't mean very to laugh. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so there's squirrel. Just like there's a squirrel running around over there looking around. <laughs> was it when I said the- probably looking for its nest or its home. Was it the gray squirrel, red squirrel, or black well, gray, squirrel? Well, so now we have the new black squirrel. The, the, the resident black squirrel that was terrorizing out back, the gray squirrels. It was over here. I took a picture of there, but you couldn't see it. And they're all gone. I mean, like the people's fence is all beat up from the from the, not not from. Oh well, they had so the house is for sale, right? It's been for sale for months, but also we found out from the neighbors that a limb fell and went through their roof, right? And then they moved. Oh, <laughs> well, they were renters, but still they, they were they were they were they were not renters. They were renters. It was the the parents and adult sister of the people who owned the house were living in there, were renting it, living there, whatever. So they moved out, and we found out that a, a, limb, a limb had gone through the roof. So they had the one smash up their patio furniture last year. Then a limb went through the roof, and they had that patch to fix or whatever. And so, and the house has been under contract several times, and there are various reasons why it didn't sell. Part of it probably being like, look, fuckers, I'm not going to buy the house and then spend $3,000 to have the fucking oh, dead it could, tree It could cut be down. more than that. It, it might have been more than that. I mean, the tree was fucking gigantic. Yeah. Fucking gigantic. So, um, wait till they come and do the wood chipper for, um, for the trump, grinding the, the, out the, the stump, tr- the, the, trump, the, the stump, stump grinder. Removal. Yeah, the stump. Well, the stump grinder is loud, but it, hopefully it will not take all day. Maybe they'll leave it. I mean, maybe it was just you take the dead tree down. We don't care about the stump. Sometimes they'll make it flush to the ground, but I don't. I haven't even looked at it. The, it is kind of flush to the ground, but they might grind that stump because it's maybe. like so close to the side. Well, I look. I, I, I look outside and just shake my fucking head at like the bright. I mean, literally the bright sun. I mean, I'm, I'm like. Bet Midler and the fucking Hocus Pocus. Another glorious morning. Makes me sick. It does. This fucking sun just blaring in the window. I can't. I can't. Anyway, that's all the rage I have. For this lot, lot of lot rage. Of rage. Um, Wait, speaking of rage, this is something you don't have people stealing your packages, but you know how, oh, especially no. with the holidays I mean, coming up. wood. People do. I see it on the community pages all the time. Yeah, fuck them. How do you know what you're getting? So... How do you know what you're stealing? Well, part you of it, don't. here's what I think. I think sometimes it's the Amazon drivers are in cahoots with their friends and family, and they say, hey, I just dropped off a fucking TV at this house, and then people jump out and go and get the TV. They've got to. They How else? How else do they know? On the news, I've not heard about TVs being stolen from the I'm Amazon I'm just saying, people. like, in I've general. Package, just like, like, smaller packages. But sometimes it says what's on the package. Yeah. Well... Yeah. I think it's that people in cahoots with the Amazon drivers. I don't know, but that's ballsy, especially in a neighborhood where, and I've seen the video on the on the news of, like, a neighborhood. Not You're not out there isolated by well, yourself. Almost, like, they're going up. Amazon packages, which and is also ring, why I think it's an Am, it's, they're in cahoots with the Amazon delivery right, And the ring doorbell gets you. So, at they any rate. They pull their hoodie up. So, you know, it's coming to the holiday season, so lots of packages will, you know, Amazon stuff or small business, whatever. Packages will start to show up. So this man in Salt Lake City got... Amazon's been here every day this week. Yeah, I love Amazon. Um, I do shop small, though, too. So this man in Salt Lake City has had enough. Had enough? Salt Lake City man had enough of people stealing his packages and in the neighborhood. And his doorbell rang, 
like ring he could s- ring doorbell could see people taking them. So he did this packing poop to pester porch pirates. Let me say it again. Packing, packing poop. poop to pester porch pirates. Packing poop to pester porch pirates. Say that Packing fast. poop to pester porch pirates. Packing poop to pester porch pirates. Packing poop to pester porch pirates. Packing poop to pester porch pirates. So they interviewed this pirates. man on the local CBS in Salt Lake City just the I other mean, day. I it's not illegal, right? I caught, no. I caught the clip. Well, if it is, he's in trouble now. Look. But they interviewed him, and he's like, I've ha- basically, I've had enough. I packed up shit. I think what about it was explosives? Dog Can you shit? pack up expl- uh, explosives? No. I mean, that would go off a few. That, that's a real problem. I mean, that, that, that's illegal. That, that is illegal. That is illegal. And I'm not sure about well, dog like a shit. Paint bomb or a glitter bomb? Um, I don't know. We shouldn't talk about that. I don't know. Well, I don't, I'm asking. Look, I don't know. I don't know. But this is this is look. This is all I can do. I do my paint by number picture project in the kitchen. But I'm not coming up with like a a, a fucking bomb in but the box. I, mean, I think it's great. It didn't really say what kind of poop it was, but I'm imagining it was probably like dog shit. He's not shitting in a box and putting it out front. Maybe. No, but it wasn't like it didn't say with a horse. I didn't think it was him. I was like horse manure, manure or some kind of poop. Yeah. So he packed it up and he's like, "Listen here, fuckers." Surprise! Well, I mean, I told Joe the other year, I'm like, I'm gonna go shit on the neighbor's porch. I'm just gonna go fucking shit right on their porch. Well, because our so oh our God, neighbors, what is right? Wrong with you? Our neighbors, wrong our neighbors. I have two poop stories from my neighbors. What is wrong with you? So one, one. Oh, people talk about why we hate our neighbors. Well, there's poop dropper, poop dropper, poop dropper. Well, that was, was the first annoying. One. So poop dropper, crumb. they have giant lab dogs. Oh, right, two or three of them. She's a pediatrician, and he also has a medical profession. I'm going to leave it at that. What so these mean? aren't like delinquent fucking people, right? They should know better is my point here. So the garb- we have garbage collection twice a week, right? You want to drop your bag of dog shit on top of our garbage, on top of the garbage. So when the garbage men come and dump it, that's fine. Fuck you for dumping it into the the empty garbage can, though. No, 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 no. Where it then sits in the bottom of the garbage can in fucking August, 3,000 degrees outside, and shellacks to the bottom of the garbage can. So this... The, the black so, pa- plastic... The blue, blue peach, black, whatever they are. The, the poop bags, right? They shellacks to the bottom. Um, so one time Joe's trying to clean out the garbage can. There were three bags of poop from this fucking person shellac to the bottom. So introduce... Introduce camera number one. This how is when we wait, first wait, got. Wait, how did you get them out? Like, did you get a shovel remember, to get them out? I don't remember. I don't know like, if he tried to use the hose or what he did. <laughs> I don't know. One, the garbage can itself stinks. Two, now he's collecting poop bags shellac to the bottom. I'd be so pissed. This happened constantly. Fuck you. You have a fucking dog. Your dog shits. You take the bag of shit back to your own house. You put it in your own fucking garbage can. Again, I wouldn't have cared if they put it on top of the garbage. Because the garbage is going to go out. Yep. Do not dump it in our fucking empty garbage can. <laughs> well, she didn't want to take it home because her garbage well, is we're gone. It's going to be in her empty on, can. On, our, on, our, on our, our local Facebook page, people rage against this. You would be surprised when people think that we, that people like us to get upset about it. We're the problem. Fuck you. I hope someone shits right in your fucking garbage <laughs> can. Just right in. Right the fuck in it. Oh, my God. So, so we put introduce video camera number one. You're so, not right. So we got we got we you got. You are oh, not no, right. So we got the camera. We got the first camera. <laughs> we come home one day and there is you know because like I was when I was teaching so we both leave the house. So the garbage can you know the garbage is out in the morning. It sits there all day. So and we had a, it was like a like a game camera. So it was like still pictures. So sure enough, there's a giant bag of shit in the bottom of our empty garbage can. And the bottom of the empty garbage can is going to sit there now until the next garbage day. <laughs> but it sticks to the bottom. So it's going to stick there until we get it out. So here I am. I take the fucking, like, like SIM card or whatever it is out of the goddamn <laughs> thing. Put it on my laptop and I'm watching the fucking still videos. It's like a thousand still videos. And I find, I finally, because you see the one girl walking and she's got a poop bag. And she passes, she gets past the garbage can. She still has a poop bag in her hand. Oh, well, wasn't her. Next person we find, sure enough, neighbor three doors down. She dropped the poop bag. So now we know who it is. Joe retrieves the poop bag from the garbage can. And I wrote a lovely note. Dear neighbor, you, I believe this belongs to you. Did you really write Yes. That? You might not know it, but Haverford Township Code, blah, 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 whatever, 2.6 AB, whatever. According to this... You are not allowed to do this, and it is punishable by a fine of up to whatever, $500, whatever it was. And by the way, you're stinking the shit out of um, my can. So, 
we just wanted to make you aware, uh, maybe please don't do this again or whatever. It has not happened since. So that's the first, that was Poop Dropper. That's why we got the first the first camera. Poop dropping Wait, stuff. Wait, so did you see her get the note letter? Like, were you no, watching No, Joe put the bag oh. of poop and the note on their doorstep, right in front of their fucking door. So either they walked out and stepped on it, <laughs> or when they got to the front door, they saw it. But fuck this. We were tired of it. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Like, what is this? Right? I would, I'd I would, be like, who, who left their dog shit I wrote on, on Lovely <laughs> Stationery, too. I wrote on Lovely Stationery. Who, who left the dog shit on my stationary. house? It was Kate Stationery, a little seashell on it. Oh. Uh, yeah, right? Nice pen. Look, I'm done. Did you sign your name? Well, obviously she knows who no, it I is because she's dropping. Right? Dear neighbor. And it was our garbage can. So, every, so, so this was every, like, Tuesday, Friday this was happening. Twice a week, every week she's doing this. And it's sticking to the bottom of our, of and our, our garbage can. And our house is just down three and doors. she's three doors down. It's not like she has to walk six miles <laughs> with a fucking bag of poop in her hand. She has to, it's, we're three doors down. Take your fucking, and she did it on the way home. She dropped it in there That's on what the I'm way saying. home. She's only three not doors even, down. Like, you take it the fuck home, you lazy piece of shit. Do not put your dog poop in our garbage You have 25 yards from here to that house, And people probably. wonder why we hate our neighbors. So Ooh. that's that, that's the first poop incident. Because I literally was like, I'm going to find out if there's something with shit on their doorstep. I mean, I was like, <laughs> you're not I right. was crazy. So then, <laughs> then we have, right, the, meanwhile, the guy's probably coming to check the hole, and like, I'm, he's coming at some point, I'm, like, out here, and, like, raging, and <laughs> talking about fucking shitting on the neighbor's doorstep. So then, the, the fucker's... The same neighbor? No. The fuck, the fucktar behind him. <laughs> they had labs, too. Giant lab... Labs produced a giant pile of poop, right? Imagine having a Great Dane. That's like, he, I had a friend who has a Great Dane. He's like, that's human <sighs> so size. So gross. Human size poo. Well, so their dog, and I don't blame the dog. I blame the fucking idiot neighbor, owner. Their dog, well, the one died, but the other one, it got loose every fucking day. This dog got fucking loose. Their chocolate fucking lab got loose every fucking day before we had the fence. Came into our backyard and shit in the backyard. Every fucking day, every day. One, how how do you not how do you not latch the gate? How do you not latch the gate? So there were several times where Joe took the shovel and flung it over into their driveway, right? The driveway or the grass? Flung it over the fence. Oh, it landed in the driveway. Fuck you. Look, these people. Their kids will walk up to the. We watch them walk up to the fence, take their chewing gum out, and chuck it into our yard. Fuckers. It goes back in the yard with mulch tattoo. <laughs> There's another kid's looking, hey, what's that on the driveway? Yeah. <laughs> like the bright with, like, green. Like bright green with fucking Gatorade mulch stuck to it. Oh. Fuck you. Fuck you, ch- fucking kids and your fucking parents too. I can't. I can't with these fucking. I can't with these people. So the dog every fucking day would get loose. Every fucking day. The whole neighborhood knew who owned the dog because you saw someone walking this poor old, you know. Yeah, it's not the dog's dog fault. Back home. It was not the dog's fault. It was the fucking owner's fault. Poor dog. So then the fence went up. Well, then it still got loose every day and then shit in our side yard. <laughs> The fuck or the front yard. Dog died. No more dog shit. Which you know, like, you didn't want to go all, shit on their doorstep. Well, yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm gonna go shit on their fucking. I'm gonna go shit on their fucking back porch. I'm gonna walk on their back porch and fucking shit right on it. I was, I can't. This could be a skit for Saturday Night Live. I would love rage. to see this. I have such the rage. Well, because also, like, I like to go around in the backyard barefoot. Well, I can't walk around barefoot in my own backyard because their dog is shitting in our own backyard. But then we put the fence up and then shit's in the, I don't go in the side yard. <laughs> Look, I can't. I mean, I just, I can't, I can't. If you cannot be a responsible pet owner, then you should not have a dog. And I felt bad when the dog died, but God damn it, thank God. Because no more fucking, you know, just shitting in our yard, front yard, side yard. And our other neighbors, the ones, Switzerland, who are actually pretty nice, you know, when we're talking about putting up the fence, we're like, also their dog shits in our yard every day. And there's like, oh no, that's not okay. <laughs> you don't say, you don't say. <laughs> Well, on the on the line of um, mm, okay. on the on, rage, along yeah. the lines rage. of um, poop and um, animals, um, I'm very sad because Bear 399, the grizzly bear 399, she was called Queen of the Tetons. She died yesterday. She was 28 years old. The oldest living grizzly bear documented that. That's a um, shame. And had still been giving birth. Like, she had a yearling, which means it was last year's Jesus. cub. Um, so she's what happened a, to the cub? Well, wait, they don't know. So the cub's a year old, so it might be able to survive. It's not like it's this year's cub that would be a COB. Like another bear wouldn't bring it on for their own? Um, no. Oh. No. And it's, But it's still young enough that, um, yeah, it's not, it, it, it's still young enough. But hopefully after, because it had been with its mother for a year, and they typically stay for three years. What happened to the bear? So the bear was hit 
in Jackson Hole, um, obviously accidentally she was Did crossing. It, totally um, I mean, the, it must have because she weighed. Yeah, it, I mean, they didn't say gigantic. much. It's and like hitting an elephant. In all the articles, because of course my feed is filled with this, because everybody is honestly devastated. Um, the bear followers. The bear, the bear followers. The bear community. I mean, she brought in a lot. So even if you don't like bears and you own a business in Jackson Hole, you love this bear because it brought in a ton of people over the last five years. Obviously, the bear is older than that. But the last five years since like COVID, because people started watching this bear, people were outside documenting she had four baby cubs one year so it just became this whole thing um yeah people did books of just her of just photography of her but at any rate so she died she was hit by a car crossing the road um, and it hasn't really been going at a high speed well and the reason but it did not hit the cub um they're pretty sure the person who is the driver all right the driver is all right the article talked long and hard about the bear and then finally at the end said mm -hmm the driver is okay i think they had some scrapes or something but um but the bear died and they um it's confirmed because she had a tagged ear and they put a microchip in this mm. bear because the well i saw that on science has been following on, on yellow on the show yellowstone which is coming back yep. in november finally yep. to finish off um well they did it with the wolves too that yep. they're tagged and microchipped and stuff because yeah. they killed some wolves that got in trouble for it. Yeah, that, that, well, that you're not allowed to. Right not allowed. Now. Especially in that area. But so That's anyhow, so so it brings up the topic that has been going on out there in in like the Jackson Hole, Yellowstone area, um, about building wildlife bridges because these animals would they know to go over them though? Well, I think they would. They would habituate to it. Is that the word I want to use? They would. Yeah, get because used to it? I don't because know. they, they were, get used they to. You know, animals get used to the cars and to the road, and they like to stay away from the road. They'll eat alongside of it, like a couple, you know, yards in, but they still know that that's like bad news. Don't ask me how, but I've read about it. So they've obviously science is involved here in the wildlife um, management out there. So they would build these um, animal wildlife bridges, management. wildlife bridges mm -hmm. which are like grass and trees and all of these things so it's just like the the side you know the sides of the road and the mountains and it's like coming together so they would go over that and avoid the car so it's not only just Hopefully. for the animals maybe well no they've done studies i think it over works the build them. well because well, how many money. where well what they do is they you know survey the areas of the most traveled wildlife areas and where there are most accidents so they're doing it for two reasons one for car safety and people safety because you hit one of those animals i mean i mean i want to see the car because you hit a fucking grizzly bear with your car i, I mean, mean and a moose will fuck it up too oh, i mean i've seen what a white it'll tail get it, it'll get it with their i've seen what antlers. a white tailed deer can do and mm -hmm. and a moose is like sometimes three times the size oh, sean was on like great deer watch this week when we went out for rides oh. i mean he saw them before Stop. joe did like right in the middle of the fucking road did like, they have deer? antlers no, there was a mama and a and a baby, and we passed them, and then we came back, and they were back out in the middle of the road, and then we oh. saw cars like down the road. I said, "Joe, flash your lights, so they know like there's something ahead." And then Sean wanted to know, "How did I know how to do that?" I said, "Well, generally people do it when there's a cop ahead <laughs> to let you know like stop stop speeding." I said, "But people have done it to us, um, like when like with deer, like we they flash lights, and then further up the road we see like a herd of deer. So I right on the back road we figured people would know it meant." It means there's something ahead, is what I told him. Right, something ahead. Deer, police. So yeah, an something. animal will fuck your car up, and you know, so they want to sa they want to save human lives and cars. It helps the insurance company because they don't have to pay it, and then obviously the wildlife that is, um, you know, out there. So they do have a couple wildlife bridges in, you know, just the area that I'm speaking of. I'm sure they're elsewhere. So now they they've wanted to put one in in Jackson Hole, and now I guess there's going to be a real push for it. So speaking of. Um, you know, out west. So the um, we have to wrap this up. We're not passing. I know hour. our viewers are way down. We're down by like a down, and I don't know because people said they liked it longer, so we made them longer. People don't like it long. I, I don't know. I don't know. But look. Okay, so real quick because I did this last year. National Geographic just came out with their top destinations for 2025. One of them is Guada Guadalajara, Mexico, for their mariachi festival in oh, August. That sounds like fun. Other one, Boise, Idaho. I'm telling you, we should have bought fucking land in Idaho. Johnny, yeah, but the problem is people everybody's are, going to Idaho well, now. People are, are buying out there, and it's raising the cost of living for the people who live out there because yeah. people have to build these gigantic vacation homes. I saw about it on Yellowstone. Yeah. 
I learned well, a Yellowstone lot. has a little bit I of fact to it, the, the TV show. So Italy, um, another hot spot is Italy's over 200 some kind of monasteries. I don't know what that is. I should ask John. Seno, Seno, Victic. To go visit the monasteries? Yes. Yes, they have over 200 Do monasteries. Did they brew wine or beer? I didn't, I didn't say. You have to do your own research. I mean, these were, they just listed these places. We get a fruitcake from an abbey. Oh, yeah. fuck. It is fucking good. No, they monasteries. sell it on Williams Sonoma. You can also get it on Amazon. And there are other ones, but Cork, Ireland is another one they named that See, I thought was I'm interesting. Gonna, I'm going to go to Ireland and I'm not going to come the fuck home because it's like cold and gray, but green too. Uh, and I, yeah. Except for the, except for like the cliffs. Like I'm a little terrified of the whole cliff thing. Anyway, we have to save your. Your your crazy news for, for I know, next but time. I, I do have to say because this is timely. Okay. Did you? I showed you the video of Obama introducing Eminem. I did so at I a political that. rally. Yes, and he rap and, and Obama did his. Well, I mean, he said the words. Yeah, he, he tried rap to rap. It. He had a little bit of rhythm. He with said it. the words. I mean, he is a Harvard graduate. He probably has some skills we don't know about. I just thought it was great. I mean, that he was he can rapping paint Eminem my better than I can. Mm. I'm doing a paint by number picture. My friend sent me for Halloween. It's I'm telling you, it is some fucking. Trouble. Well, and I texted her because she said her daughter. She she said I got one for my daughter, and I also. And I texted her the other day. I said I need to see your daughter's because if hers is better, she's like eight. If your hers is better, like hers might be better than mine. Because like, look, I was like Joe. I think I need to get checked for Parkinson's. He's like, oh my god, why? I'm like, I can't keep, I can't keep my hands steady for these little spots. And he was like. It's probably the caffeine from the coffee. But I mean, look, it is fucking tedious. I mean, I like get my glasses off. I'm like down like an inch from the thing. I mean, it is. When I decorate my envelopes, it can be tedious. I, I, and I'm not an artistic person. I I'm need trying. special tweezers for some of the stuff. That yeah, this, I mean, look. And they some, don't make a brush small enough for some of these spots. It is so much fun, though. I mean, it's going to look like a fucking third no, grade painted. No, did you but, figure out how to hide the number? Because no, the light paint isn't. Only the, the, I can't get it to hide through the yellow. I know. And my friend was like, it's going to take me until 2025 to get this thing done. And I rolled it out. I'm like, oh, she's not kidding. Like, it's fucking... It is huge. Well, I'm using like little coloring well, book size ones. The, the, the little tiny paint pots. I, like, oh. Some of them don't open easily. I broke a nail. I chipped my polish off like four nails. So I had to take it off quick before we filmed it. I, I mean, it was ghetto. So, and now like I can't, I can't do my nails as long as I'm painting because I can't to open them. I'm like right. prying them open to chip. She can't have the chips. My goal is to have it done before Christmas at this point. I have two other timely oh, okay. things, and then and then we're Sorry, done. Timely. They're quick. So Is it did, Halloween related? No. McDonald's oh. E. coli outbreak. 49 confirmed cases in the United States this week, and Why they think McDonald's? it's from the sliced onions on the quarter oh. pounder. Sliced onions. And I could just buy onions. Should I rinse my onions? Well, you probably. You rinse E. coli but I, off? I, I, yeah, I think. I mean, that's you have to rinse fruit off. When we lived in South, uh, South America, we had to wipe our fruit off, like wash it. I always wash my produce, but not always my onions. Well, I don't, I don't know onions. how you wash an onion because you take the skin right, off. Right, that's the thing. Like layers, like lettuce. You have to wash. Well, it said apart, it, it, it anyway, said that okay. onions might be the problem, and they're like leaning okay. towards that. So, and then one other timely thing, and then I'm done. Elizabeth Francis, who was 115 years old, died this week. She was the oldest. This makes no sense because, of course, she was living. She's the oldest living person in the United States. What she died? 115 from? years old. Old and age. No, she did not die of rage. Uh, old age, I oh. said. <laughs> what she might like, yeah. Probably old age. No, old not rage. Age, not so rage. anyhow, Elizabeth Francis, um, they asked her um, at, on her 114th birthday last year what the secret to longevity was, and she said, no drinking, no smoking, but eat everything. Was she heavy? No, she was skinny. And she ate everything? Well, that's what she said. Okay, well, I used to smoke, and I drink like a fish, so... Uh, Hey. Halloween. I just thought. Are I you know. high? <laughs> what? Why is like the end of every morning? Like you lose your mind. Halloween. Well, Halloween is a week away. We're very excited for Halloween. That's my point. I'm excited for Halloween. Oh, see my paper. I, mean, I just yelled Halloween. I don't fucking know what's happening. I mean, she was talking about the old lady, and then next thing you know, Halloween. I just uh, wanted to get that in there because it was timely. Like nobody okay. wants to hear about her death in two weeks from now. I appreciate the timeliness. Yes. Yeah, so we will. Um, I don't think I. Well, I had, so I bought this fun little book. I saw it in Salem. We can do it next week because we can do well, one yeah, before so Tuesday. Before well, next week because I'm a Halloween edition. I'm going away. We'll do Llewellyn's little book of Halloween. I almost bought it in Salem, Let me see this. but it was no. It was I have a band aid marking my spot. It was fifteen dollars at the little shop in Salem where I bought your mug that you haven't used. But I ordered on Amazon because it was only ten dollars, and so it has the whole history of Halloween, which we don't, we ran out of time. So I will give that next week in case anyone does not know the history of Halloween. Most of it I knew already. Some of it I did not know. Let me see so this. that was interesting. You could probably put a blurb on our page. 
about Halloween. Well, so many people that, that watch aren't even on the page, so I, the I don't page. know. We'll see. And then I also I have oh. I have a little sneak peek into the holiday season coming up. This little gift guide. You're not even ready for this. I'm glad that I joy to this. the world. Yes, it's about gifting. It's about gifting heifers uh, and other wildlife, not wildlife, other animals. Uh, animal life to uh, people in foreign countries who need food. You could buy, you can buy an ark for twenty five thousand dollars. You can give a whole feast of animals. An ark. So I don't know who they thought they were sending this to. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how I got on this mailing list. But look, I can't afford this. An ark. I can't afford five thousand dollars for a beef Wait, farm. Wait, an either. ark as in Noah's ark. No, it's like a whole plethora of animals. Anyway, we're gonna go over this not today, but I, I have, I, I pulled it out so I wouldn't forget it. I don't want to throw it away by accident. I just said gift guide, so I like joy of the world, so I happen to. To breeze through it. Oh, wait a minute, though. I'm going to end this on a hostile fucking note. Because the goddamn Hallmark Channel started. I don't even know. Maybe I did this last time. The Hallmark Channel, I'm trying to watch fucking Halloween movies. And it's all gone. They fucking got rid of all the Halloween. They started Christmas shit. I did talk about this last time. I it apologize. It is early. It is they early. They started it last weekend. It is too early. They started it on the 18th, and I am not. Look. I mean, hell, it's 80 degrees outside. November it's 1st, too early. right? November 1st. You start that shit up November 1st. I'm fine with that. I'm down with that. Roll right from the Halloween right into the holiday season. I put my turkey out, listen to some holiday music. It helps me with my rage. But look. Then, but I'm not the holiday movies. I'm not. I'm not ready for it yet. So no, no, that just no. sucks. And poor Halloween gets shoved. Well, we stopped at the grocery store last night to buy, to buy a lottery ticket. We did not win. And I looked. I looked up, and in the window, so the, the whole front is covered with mums and pumpkins, right out front. And I see fucking holiday shit up in the up in the like like balloons or blow. I don't know what the fuck it was. Like I mean Christmas. I'm like, why is there a fucking Santa? Why is there a fucking Santa Claus? It is October, what the fuck the date is, 20-something. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not okay with it. She's not okay with it. And she I loves mean, Christmas. But this is probably like people get hostile when the Halloween stuff crops up in August. I mean, there's no other but holiday. At least it's August. Right? It's like, there's no other holiday. Like, we're leading into fall. Let's get ready. It's a little, it's too soon for Christmas. I mean, you pretty much all of November and all of December get Christmas. We can hold off till November 1st. I mean, I think the retail world wants, it doesn't have to do with TV, but the retail world is like, well, people start shopping for Christmas in like September or October. I'm not buying anything for Christmas right no, now. No, but some people do. So they have a, they I sense the need. I just Halloween decorations that just came yesterday. Yeah, they sense the need to get some of the oh. Christmas out. Like some some of the small shops have like a soft Christmas opening. They did it well, like already. Yeah. Well, I asked you if there was holiday candy, Christmas, Christmas candy in the grocery store yet because Oh, I was about to be really, really fucking hostile. He said not yet, but like the day after it'll be out. Oh wait, we have to thank Aunt Bonnie. We're not going to end on a hostile. Oh yeah, yeah, we have to, we yes, have to thank, thank Aunt, Bonnie. Aunt Bonnie. We got we got a nice. Price. Thank you, I love we it. We got the Cavenders. Cavenders. Oh, and I meant to bring it out. I left Cavender it secret. The Greek. So I think because I think in, the lady that you were watching lives in Texas, and then Aunt Bonnie lives in Texas. So Aunt Bonnie probably got at the grocery store. I didn't ask her. I I, I texted her yesterday. Big I, bottle I, of Cavenders for the chicken the, salad. The Greek, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make some chicken salad now. Greek some chicken salad. You have to poach it. You have to poach the chicken oh, in the the boiling fucking, water. I'm gonna buy a fucking roasted chicken, and I'll make it with that. Um, and, and the cute tea towel with the wine bottle. And Hellman's wine mayonnaise glasses, only. You. I only buy Hellman's mayonnaise. Yeah, a tea towel. That was really cute. Thank you, Aunt Bonnie. Really cute. Thank you. Yes, it's always nice to get a prize. Got really some some fun, as Joe calls them, prizes this season. Yeah, I like prizes. My, we got that one. Um, she was, and she hit right Which about I it. thought wait, Aunt wait, Bonnie. This is the best. Wait, I thought Aunt Bonnie sent us something. Wait, this is the best. So I'm talking to Aunt Bonnie last week, right? And she says to me, uh, I was on the phone with her Saturday. She goes, I I sent you and Kelly something. It's coming to your house. And she said, I, I was watching your show, and it, it it made me. So I I bought this for you. I said, Oh my god, is it a ball sack? <laughs> Our aunt was like. No, no, it is not a ball sack. She goes, I wouldn't even know where to get that. And she goes, if I did, I'd be too embarrassed to buy it. And I'm like, well, you'd probably be surprised where the fuck you can buy a ball sack to buy. But I'm like, my, my, my go-to is like, oh my God, is this a ball sack? <laughs> <laughs> Show, ball sack, it all comes together. Wait, and those of you that like are new and like don't know what the ball sack is, you have to get previous. You have to, it's from previous. Um, it started last year, right after we started this um and then a Christmas, and we had a ball sack. And somebody and then, made this for you. our friend's sister. Uh, it's so soft. Appreciate it. It's just so soft. I keep it out here on the porch, so when I lay down, it is, the so it is the softest fucking thing in the world. Anyway. 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 Okay. On that note, um, we're, That's past, like the, we're past wait, an hour. Wait, back to Aunt Bonnie. I know. Yes, sorry. That's like the time that John sent mom, on, I'm an embarrassed mom, on a wild goose chase. He jokingly said... 
oh, Pat, I want this this video or DVD back. This was like 15 years ago, this DVD, and like gave her some random title. It was like Girls Gone Wild or something crazy. Yeah, but it, weird. He, well, there are two. So he wanted oh. The Girls Gone Wild, and she hunted for that and couldn't find it because you had to order it off of TV. <gasps> I love that and she then, for it. And That's then fantastic. She, and then he sent her on a wild goose chase and for some other title, and it turned out to be porn. John knew that it was porn, but Mom nice. did <laughs> Nice. And she found it? No, she's like in oh. Target or something. <laughs> And she asked, she asked for it. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. She's going to say she didn't, but that's the story that John and I have, and we're sticking to it. Oh. So maybe it's true. Maybe it's not. Okay. Oh, we have, we have to get the disclaimer that, like, if you're new and you had a kid in the room, you can get him out. <laughs> it's a so, little late right, now. It's a little late now that we said fuck, like, 15,000 times. So, okay. At any rate. So uh, thank you for tuning in to episode 48. We hope you have a great week. We'll be back next week. With Before our, Halloween. With our with our history of Halloween and all the fun jazz. I'm gonna, I might even have I might even have like something else festive to wear next week. I'm going to have to get another. You can wear the orange, orange again. No, this orange is too You can borrow this like if you want before I return it. I, I left. Well, I ordered from Amazon and I left the fucking tag on it. Of course you so did. So if I want to return it, which I probably will. This color orange isn't really me. I'm not. This color is too bright. It looked really cute, and the little thing girl didn't really have boobs in the picture. Oh. And on me, it just kind of looks. Okay, thank bizarre. you for modeling so the anyway, boobs. Yeah. Okay, on that Thanks note. Thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great go. week. Take Thanks. care. Bye. Bye.